The following religious program is being brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The contents of this program are solely those of the sponsor. Greetings, everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Worldwide Truth of God television program is now on the air and comes to you from the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ with new international headquarters at 5105 North 5th Street on the corner of North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the United States of America. In this and all our programs, you will hear the Word of God preached in its purest form from the Holy Scriptures by the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. So join us each week at this time to hear Pastor Jennings preach on a variety of subjects, all of which point you to God's call to true holiness. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Little Rock, Arkansas. Notice, the scheduled event of Pastor Gino Jennings at the State House Convention Center, Saturday, June 26th and Sunday, June 27th, has been canceled. Little Rock, Arkansas. Notice, the scheduled event of Pastor Gino Jennings at the State House Convention Center, Saturday, June 26th and Sunday, June 27th, has been canceled. Please watch The Truth of God or visit our website, www.truthofgod.com, for the rescheduled date. Please watch The Truth of God, www.truthofgod.com. Join Pastor Gino Jennings for services in St. Louis, Missouri at the Renaissance St. Louis Airport Hotel, 9801 Natural Bridge Road, St. Louis. Services are Saturday, July 10th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 11th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Again, join us for services in St. Louis, Missouri at the Renaissance St. Louis Airport Hotel, 9801 Natural Bridge Road, St. Louis. Services are Saturday, July 10th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 11th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Come early to get the best seat. For information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358. Join Pastor Gino Jennings as he preaches and teaches the Word of God in Kansas City, Missouri at the Hilton Kansas City Airport, 8801 Northwest 112th Street. Services are Saturday, July 17th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 18th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Again, join us for services in Kansas City, Missouri at the Hilton Kansas City Airport, 8801 Northwest 112th Street, Saturday, July 17th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 18th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Come early to get the best seat and admission is always free. For event and hotel information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358. Pastor Gino Jennings welcomes you to join us for our combined International Holy Convocation and General Assembly Church and Pastoral Anniversary at our International Headquarters Campus located at 5105 North 5th Street in Philadelphia. Services are Thursday and Friday, July 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m. Saturday, July 24th, prayer begins at 8 a.m. till noon and services at 4 p.m. Sunday, July 25th, services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. with the live webcast starting at 7.30 p.m. For event and hotel information, call Cindy Rawlings, 252-341-9358. The Truth of God is looking for video and photo content from all countries. If you have good photos or video footage of church events, including baptisms and dedications, we would like to feature it on the church's web channel, thetog.tv. Send us an email to production at scottlesky.com. We will then give you access to our private Dropbox. So contact us at production at scottlesky.com. That's production at scottlesky.com. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. All right, thank God. Thank God for Pastor Jennings and certainly for his dedication to the work of God over the last 35 years. Uh, often we talk about the length of time, that things have, uh, how things have progressed, but Pastor's response to me is always, there's so much ahead of us. So let us continue to be prayerful. 
uh, for Pastor and his family and uh, certainly for the saints of God at large. Just want to remind you, uh, those who are listening and watching this program, you're watching and listening to the Worldwide Truth of God Radio and television program. It's a worldwide program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our headquarters assembly is located at 5105 North 5th Street. North 5th Street, that's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's our general overseer. You're also listening to and watching our concluding services of the year 2019. And also, uh, it's our 30th, I do believe, men's convocation and our 32nd women's convocation. And of course, this is all happening within the 35th year of pastor's pastoral anniversary. As most of you know from watching this program over time, and perhaps those of you that are new, this program is on the air for your edification. It's by no means entertainment. So if you do have a question or a concern about anything you see or hear on our program, uh, we'd like you to get in contact with us. Our uh, email address is firstchurchattruthofgod.com. Firstchurchattruthofgod.com. You can also visit us our website. Our website address is obviously www.truthofgod.com. If you see the absolute need, and I hope you do, for baptism being done correctly, uh, again, you can send an email to us. That's baptism at truthofgod.com. Now, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to San Francisco, New York, to London, England, to Queensland, Australia, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Worldwide Truth of God radio program. Here now is our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. One Lord.
Greetings, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> friends, and to my New Year enemies. This is again the Truth of God program that comes from First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Our international address is 5105 North 5th Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the wicked country of America, <clears throat> where you always are welcome to come, stop in, and repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins, and God promised to fill you with himself, the Holy Ghost. That's a beautiful promise, isn't it? Yeah. It looks beautiful this Tuesday evening, and you know when you see these amount of folk each night, you get the days mixed up. This has been a beautiful closing year conference. We thank God for all the ministers, and I want to thank my family for the wonderful presentation, <laughs> me and my wife. <laughs> <clears throat> One of my sons is not here. He's at work. Amen. But we're glad for all of you that are here, and we've been having a wonderful time. Souls been going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ every night. Every single night. So we are grateful to you that are watching upstairs. Uh, and to you that are watching around the world, this broadcast is dedicated to all the believers and followers of the truth of God. <clears throat> and this is even dedicated to the unbeliever, that after he hear it, he may consider it and obey it and become a believer. <clears throat> well, God been good to us 2019 and he have given the truth of God just victory in every city, every state, every town, every country, every continent. Every place where the word of God have been, God gave us victory all the time. Souls are turning to this message by the thousands. And uh, it's kind of funny when you think of it. When we came to this campus, we had some room. In the gymnasium, we had a little bit of room, but we had some. We don't ran out of room here. And brothers used to tease me and while we were working and they were coming to the main auditorium and Say, look, Pastor Jennings, you know by the time we get in the main auditorium, there's not going to be no room. That's true. That's true. And it's the truth. Yeah. We done ran out of room, and we're not even in there yet. That's true. <laughs> so I met with our architect to design and build two more balconies, mm -hmm. one to the left, one to the right. Yeah. And they're going to be already fooled when they're done. <laughs> We give God thanks. I thank God for all the faithful. <laughs> all the faithful and dedication from all of the ministers that are present to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in Malawi and Tanzania and Kenya and Mozambique and the Ivory Coast. In Zimbabwe and Zambia and Barbados, Trinidad, Trinidad, Tobago, the Bahamas, Jamaica, you that are in the Netherlands, Holland, England, throughout Great Britain, you that are in High Wycombe, England, Frankfurt, Germany, Dusseldorf, Germany, India. Mm. Alinga Mauritius, Rodriguez, 
There's so many areas that I can't remember all of them. But it's the Lord's doing. Yeah. How God took one strong, firm message and shook the devil kingdom here on earth. God did that for people to come from thousands of miles. Baptized a brother last night all the way from the state of Wyoming. Come in to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They hear from New Zealand, Australia, and so many other parts of the world. They flew in from Japan and went down in water during this blessed holy convocation. So, we are grateful. I want to greet all of our brothers and sisters and followers of the truth of God in the Philippines. Uh, we are working now, great, to put a local telecast covering all the Philippine islands. People are crying out for the word of God to come there in person. And God be our helper. Paul said, this will I do if God permit. Yes. Brothers and sisters and stubborn viewers, I thank God for this message, how tough it is. And uh, the message that God blesses to preach about the Trinitarian lie. Oh my God, if you read the comments on the internet, Trinitarians are cussing. <laughs> Brother Tony Harvin didn't waste no time to download it. He didn't waste no time. And, and uh, Trinitarians is blowing up his website. Website. <laughs> One man said, Pastor Jennings opened my eyes and preached it. Trinitarian respond, Pastor Jennings ain't preached SH. After he got through cussing, he started quoting scripture. <laughs> they called me the Antichrist because we don't believe in the Trinity. I most certainly do not. internet trying to turn the people away. Some went as far as saying, Pastor Jennings don't believe in Jesus. And all these thousands are going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> trying to turn the people. One, whoever was here during the meeting, they post how they got baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ, a Trinitarian got upset. Don't you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Trinitarians all over internet and people who hate the message telling folk, stay away from genogenics. This is where the devil tricked you. It's not genogenics. It's not me. Let me burn you up. My father is greater than I. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm in the Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Father is in me. Oh my. Amen. Jesus promised that I will do more work than him. Greater works. <laughs> Cussing now. They cussing now. They cussing now. That's right. Let me get some Bible. In St. John chapter 14 and at verse 12. John 14 and 12, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you. Verily, truly, I say to you. He that believeth on me. He that believeth on me. The works that I do. The works that I do. Shall he do also. Shall he do also. And greater works than and these. And more works than thee shall he do shall he do because I go unto my father viewers amen you that hate this listen to what I'm about to tell you by God's permission mm -hmm. the truth of God has baptized more people than Jesus did that's right that's right but we doing it by the power of Jesus that's right amen 
So when people go around telling you, that man don't believe in Jesus, it isn't a program that you can turn on where we don't preach Jesus. That's right. And him crucified. What do you think all these folks running here for? Amen. Jesus got in behind them. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. This is the truth of God. It's a blessing. Amen. I want to greet all of us. I got an invitation. They're asking us to come to the ancient city of Greece, mm. a city called Areopagus. Wow. Areopagus. They ask us to come there and bring the word of God there. Wonderful. Amen. They want us to come to Rome. I would love to go to Rome. Mm. Right in the Pope's backyard. <laughs> That's right. Take his red shoes down in water. <laughs> oh, it take God in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I mean, viewers actually hate those that love the truth of God. Not all people hate them, but there's so many of them. So many <laughs> truth of God follows around the world. Wonderful. You can hear them logging on. Kenya logging on. Ethiopia logging on. Greece logging on. I want to greet First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ on the Island of St. Lucia. Yeah. Pastor Richards and all the saints there. We thank God for you. Mm -hmm. This is the best thing. It's the best thing. And uh, it's just the beginning of it. Yeah. When I tell people that, they always give me that look. Pastor Jennings, all these churches and all, is just the beginning of it. I can tell you this because I know that God Almighty has showed me this great thing many, many, many years ago. That's right. I didn't eat beans and lay down and had a gassy vision. <laughs> I had a real vision from God. That's right. When Williams and I was in our early teens, and my wife was in her early teens, and Brother Mike Ravenel, mm -hmm. I was 14, 15, and 16, mm -hmm. telling them about today. That's right. I wasn't Pastor Jennings. That's right. I was just Nick or Gino. Yeah. But the Lord showed me this. Amen. The Lord showed me this yes. in a vision. That's right. Never told me when. But the vision was the only thing as a young man that kept me from backsliding. Yes. Because one thing about falsehood, when God starts opening your eyes and you want to get out of there, <laughs> and then don't know where to go. That's right. That's the thing that kept me. I remember I told my father about it. He said, son, if that's what the Lord showed you, I'll, I'll wait and see. Told brother Mike Ravenel, he said, well, I'd be glad when it start because I'm tired of being here. <laughs> when everybody left the false church, it was down to three people, me, Williams, and my wife, we wasn't married then, she was still Sister Gaiman. That's right. Mm -hmm. She was an usher, and there wasn't nobody to usher. Amen. <laughs> and when me, Williams, and her would be there once in a while, then some of them that got tired of the foolishness left, they would drift in and see how we doing. Otherwise than that, it was just us three. And you would think the place was packed. That's right. That's right. We preached by God's permission, and what God opened our understanding to, we wouldn't move. The false prophet told me, God ain't showed you nothing. Amen. I told him about what the Lord showed me. And the international broadcast. Mm -hmm. And a large headquarters church. I mean, I'm telling him this. Churches around the world, traveling around the world, souls by the thousands. He said, God have not showed you or told you anything. I didn't respect, I didn't disrespect him. I just sat quiet. Yeah. 
He said, if I don't raise my hands over you and bless you, it ain't nothing going to happen. He said, only a fool will follow you. <laughs> well, thank God for the thousands of fools. <laughs> He said, if God told you so much, where did God tell you this work going to start? Where are you going to go if you leave here? I said, I don't know. He said, you see that? God never told somebody to go somewhere and don't know where they're going. I said, he told Abraham. By faith, Abraham. The Bible says. In Hebrews chapter 11 and at verse 8. Hebrews 11 and 8 says. By faith, Abraham. By faith, Abraham. And he was called to go out he into was a place. To go out to a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obey. Uh -huh. And he went out. He went out, not knowing whither he went. I told you. That's right. Didn't have a clue. That's right. Where he would get started at. I had no clue. Yeah. Told my mother and father about this. Mm -hmm. My father said, "You can start right here right. in the basement." We had no chairs. Cleaned out the basement, and there was an old mother, Mother Armstrong. Gave us some chairs. And we cleaned them up. Set them up in the basement. And I think my brother Rick wrote, he drew a church sign with red and black magic marker. <laughs> That's right. Set it on a wall in back of the makeshift pulpit. For a podium, my mother let me use one of the dressers of the house with the drawers full of clothes. <laughs> she got an old tablecloth off the coffee table, covered it up. Our first keyboard, remember the old the Casio keyboard about that big? <laughs> We had a little Casio keyboard. And Sister Sabrina Hunter was my first keyboard player. And she's still playing. That little keyboard, her fingers was moving. <laughs> and we were faithful. We started out with about 12 to 15 people. The basement was our headquarters, and we start working in 13 other areas of the country, right. preaching to three people here, five people there, two people there, four people there, seven people there. We had three members in Detroit. Mm -hmm. No, four members in Detroit. And I started catching the plane every month, once a month. Yeah. That's right. Then we had members in Illinois. I was catching a plane every month. Yeah. Amen. The ones of Detroit, there was elderly brothers and sisters, they died out. Now we're back in Detroit with the new Detroit temple. <laughs> God taught me the value of small things. We had one member in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I didn't have no license then, but I knew how to drive. I, you know, I had my permit and I kept renewing it. We didn't have no church van or nothing like that. So Mother Armstrong had a 1970 or 1971 Malibu Chevy and gave it to the church, and that was our transportation. We was on the train every month preaching to one member in Fredericksburg, Virginia, for 10 years, That's right. preaching to one member. Amen. God was teaching me that if you can't be faithful with few, you cannot be faithful with many. We was dedicated to that one. Many times baptized in the dead winter, outdoors, and broke ice. 
with no boots. That's right. In the wintertime. That's right. Standing there, shaking. I remember my brother, Antoine Jones. I thought I saw him. Antoine, you here? Raise your hand. There he is. He's a professional swimmer. Yeah. We was in Fredericksburg in the wintertime. Down there, there was a big body of water, cold. And folks wanted to be baptized, and ice was on the water. Antoine said, look, let me go in front of you so I can measure the water. He took a stick. And then he said, right here is good. And it was freezing. I kept asking him, Antoine, you all right? He said, I'm all right. I asked him again, Antoine, you all right? He said, the feelings of my legs are gone. <laughs> he, he, he didn't have on baptismal gear. He had on sweatpants and a T-shirt in the wintertime. I didn't have no baptismal boots. I had on a pair of pants and a shirt yeah. and baptizing. Amen. You cannot, hallelujah, glory to God. If you can't be faithful with a few, you will never be able to maintain many. When God showed me this work, I thought that it would start right away just a big blow up of hundreds. Mm -mm. I was in the basement. We were there for five years. And uh, in the back of the basement, there was a kitchen. And we get big pots of water. <clears throat> Turn it on early in the wintertime. And when you're down there praying, the pipes will sweat. And when the water drop on you, you think something is on you. <laughs> that water put a lot of folk in the spirit. <laughs> folks would be down there praying, calling Jesus looking. <laughs> Amen. Many from the basement, from the basement, we baptized over 350 souls from the basement. Now I, I think of this. We baptized over 350 souls in five years' time. That's right. Wow. Now we can baptize 350 souls just going on one trip. That's true. That's right. We baptized over half of that. Last month in Africa, yes. when we baptized 192 in two days. Yeah. <clears throat> so God gave the increase. <clears throat> Not Pastor Jennings. Viewers, the devil make you look at me. Right. It's not me. Take your eyes off me. Yes. Right. The devil will do anything to keep you from obeying God. That's right. Make you look at me. Make you look at how I sound. Make you get mad at the, comp the comments that people make because the word of God have changed them. <laughs> One uh, sister said, I don't know who she is from what part of the world. She said, I was raised a Trinitarian all my life, but hearing this message have opened my eyes. Now I know there's one God. A Trinitarian got upset. How do you know there's one God? Stop listening to Gino. My oh Lord. Everybody stop listening to Gino. <laughs> there used to be a restaurant in the 70s <laughs> called Gino's, remember? Yeah. The commercial song, everybody goes to Gino's. <laughs> Gino's is the place to go. <laughs> <laughs> From the, Lord. from the Lord. So as the work began to grow, different ones began to come in from different locations. And I remember certain ones when they came in, how different things stand out. I remember when the Richardson family came, Vernon, Rome, and Karen. How can I not remember that? <laughs> yeah. I believe we were in Salisbury or either Landover, Maryland. Landover. Vernon was in the front with the Bible this size. And they walked through the door 
horse all in one long line. Yeah. And he can't walk again like he's some bishop. <laughs> Sit down and open this Bible up. <laughs> Boy, and God went to work. When God went to work, he closed that Bible right up. God gave all of us a testimony. Oh, yes. How the Lord brought us into the truth of God. Right. One testimony that I find amazing, and I find this testimony coming from hundreds who don't know each other. Everywhere I travel, people have come to me and said, I've never even heard of you. But somehow you popped up on my phone. Never heard of you. I wasn't a church person. You popped up on my phone. You know, God know how to give it to you. That's right. Giving you a chance to get right with him. That's right. Viewers, that's what God have this program for. That's it. We have watched it develop. <clears throat> God showed me our broadcast. <clears throat> Let me show you. I bought broadcast, broadcast equipment, and I didn't have no broadcast. I was still in the basement and brought broadcast equipment, a 20-band equalizer, <laughs> everything, top-of-the-line equipment. My brother Rick said, Gene, why you buy all this? I said, this for our broadcast. He said, we ain't got no broadcast. I said, I know, but we will. <laughs> I bought a big lighted church sign to go on the headquarters that we didn't have. That's right. Big sign. I had it in my mother's basement, leaned up against the wall. She says, is that going on the outside of my house? <laughs> uh, I said, no. I said, this is for the headquarters church. She said, son, we ain't got no headquarters church. I said, but we will. Yeah. She said, but how do you know? I said, we will, I said, we will. <laughs> and that sign set up against the wall. And that was the sign that used to be on the parking lot of Frankfurt Avenue. Yeah. That was the sign that I bought from the basement and had no church. That's right. Amen. That's right. God made the truth of God a light to the world from Frankfurt Avenue. Yeah. Lord our God done a lot of wonderful things. Amen. I love to talk about what God done for us. Many, some viewers don't like it. Uh, one fella got so mad at me, he said, 45 minutes, and all he's doing is talking about what God done, and I don't hear no Bible being read. <laughs> Glory to God. I have to testify. Testify. That's right. Testify. With many other words, did he testify and exalt saying, save yourself. Yeah. Glory to God, I have a testimony. A testimony. God brought us to Frankfurt Avenue. It was an abandoned Baptist Church after we left Briar Road. On Briar Road, we rented the recreation hall of an Episcopalian church. And that's where God put us over the radio. In a year's time, he gave us 11 radio stations and an hour on all of them. That's right. And souls was going down in the water and receiving the Holy Ghost by the number. Well, he filled up Briar Road. I went looking for a church by faith. Yes. He blessed us to buy Frankfurt Avenue, and it was tore up from the floor. <laughs> but we went in there, and the brothers, and all of us got in there and worked, and there was no heat in the building. We had that little that blow heat. Right. You had to work to stay warm. That's right. Lay new floor, put new ceiling and lights in. Dedicate the downstairs auditorium and then finally got upstairs. It was on Frankfurt Avenue that God blessed us with the truth of God telecast. Yeah. 
<clears throat> outgrew Frankfurt. Yeah. So we went looking for a new headquarters mm -hmm. with no money to buy it. That's right. Glory to God. We wanted to buy one of the high schools in the city because it had square footage that we wanted, 150 to 200,000 square feet. And I didn't realize it was just so complicated to get a school. So <clears throat> I still wanted between 150 to 200,000 square feet. The Catholic Diocese put a commercial out. They're closing a bunch of campuses because of the misconduct of the priest with the boys in the church. People was leaving the Catholic Church and they had to sell off their property to pay for the billions of dollars of lawsuit. So they reached out to our church real estate agent and she gave me a paper full of listings. She said, how many you want to see? I said, plenty. But they never told how long was these places closed? From the outside, the buildings look beautiful. You go on the inside, some was vacant 15 and 20 years. Burrs was in there. So we went to several campuses and I was like, no, no, Lord, no. <laughs> and then in 2014, we came here. It's, a, it's amazing how the future is because my high school is right up the street. That's right. And I was coming by our future headquarters and didn't know it. That's right. The music store where we will buy our equipment from is literally walking distance up the street. Yeah. And I will walk by this church, our future headquarters, didn't know it. So when I came in here in 2014, I asked my brother Rick and my mom, I said, look, y'all want to go see it? He said, yeah, all right. So we came in here and looked around and Rick said, Gene, this place is huge. How? He said, don't you think it's too big? I said, oh, no. I asked the man, what's the square footage? He said, Reverend Jennings? He didn't know no better. <laughs> He said, 200,000 square feet. I said, yes. That's what I wanted. I didn't tell the church about it until about two years later. Yeah. I saw it in 2014. I didn't tell the church about it until 2016. I kept coming here, kept coming here, and Praying. Then when we told the church about it, they were so excited. And we asked everybody to cooperate and just sacrifice $1,000 a person towards the purchase of the property. The folks were so glad, they started turning money in the same day. Yeah. And the Truth of God family raised over a million dollars cash. Amen. We didn't buy no plane. That's right. That's right. That's right. Didn't buy no mansion. Amen. Didn't buy no limousine. We sold before we raised the money. We didn't have no financial commitment from the financial institutions to buy this beautiful campus. So the first financial institution that said they would do it, you know, because financial institutions don't care what you believe. They just want your business. But it's just something about the reputation of the truth of God. Folks just hate it. <laughs> financial institution, they the one called us and say, yes, we'll be glad to do business with you. Then they went on the internet and heard this gospel and called us back and said, we're sorry we can't do business with you. Second financial institution did the same thing. 
before we have financial backing, I had to believe God. Before we have financial backing, we sold Frankfurt Avenue. We had the former headquarters sold. I signed the agreement of sales, sold it. Turned the check over to the financial secretary. She said, but it's sold. We don't own it no more. I said, nah. She said, who own it? I said, a developer. We renting from him. <laughs> she said, what? I said, she said, how long are we going to be? I said, not long. She said, but how you know we, we got the money? I said, Pele. Yeah. She said, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, sir. She said, I ain't going to ask you nothing. I've been <laughs> knowing you for so many years, and one thing I learned, you believe God. That's right. And, and she put a spin on it. She said, you go on and believe God. I said, what about you? She said, you go on and believe God. <laughs> so then, our closing year service, Before the closing year service and all the saints came together and we was able to raise over a million dollars cash, when it came time to settlement, they had the figures wrong. They said we had to have 700 and something thousand at the settlement table. And then they came back and we had that cashier's check. Yeah. And when we gave it to them, they said, uh, there's a mistake. You short 300 and something thousand. I said, this, this is the HUD sheet. This is what you say we got to have. So we contact our financial secretary. I said, uh, we need another 300 and something thousand. She said, oh, we got it. We raised over a million dollars. She said, money's still coming in. We was able to give it to her. Down payment. We had our last service on Frankfurt Avenue that Sunday morning. The brothers rolled up with tractor trailers. After that service, everybody helped load everything up. Tractor trailers come lined up down the street on the campus. Everybody helped unload. We set chairs up and had church the same Sunday that night, right in here. That's right. Now, God has given the truth of God a message that every place this message goes, we have a congregation. The first time this message gets there. That's right. People are hungry. That's right. Without a vision, the people perish. perish. In the book of Rebecca, mm -hmm. God spoke to the prophet mm -hmm. concerning what to do in reference to a vision. I'm not talking about making up something. No. Very few people have ever experienced someone telling them, the Lord showed me such and such and such a thing, and it happens. That's right. And, let, and they watch it materialize right in front of their eyes. That's right. Listen at this. In the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, we're starting at verse 1. All right. I will stand upon my watch. I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower. And set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me. Mm -hmm. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Write the vision. And make it plain upon table. Make it plain upon table. That he may run he that reading. He may reading. run that reading. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Did you hear that? Amen. Every vision that God ever showed has an appointed time for fulfillment. That's right. Every vision. That's right. I don't mean get mad at a preacher and run out and start something. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No. no, no. I mean a vision yeah. from God right. and a mission from
from God. That's right. When God give you a mission and give you a job and call and send you to do it, God will create circumstances yeah. yes. to teach you how to depend on him and not yourself. That's right. God will let things go in your eyes contrary yeah. to what you think just to teach you how to depend on him. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Sometime when, when uh, we was in the basement, I was not expecting to be there five years. No. I didn't fully understand the vision mm -hmm. because I thought that stuff goes, goes to happen right away. That's right. I didn't think I would be in the basement five years no. and then on Briar Road for almost three years. Amen. I thought that this thing was going to happen like when you step out and like God going to drop it out the sky. That's right. Mm-mm. That's right. Didn't happen not even remotely close that way. No. Listen. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Write the vision. And make it plain upon tables. Make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it. Yes. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Uh -huh. But at the end it shall speak. What? At the end it shall speak. It's here now. It's, that's right. And it's speaking loudly, isn't it? Amen. It doesn't matter who get over the internet and say, oh, God ain't showed him nothing. That don't mean nothing to us. No. That's like arguing with a rich man. You ain't got no money. It'll, it'll be foolish for that rich man to argue with you when he got stocks and bonds and property and money stacked everywhere. It'll be dumb for him to give you the time of day. That's right. Why? He know what he has. That's right. Human family, yeah. the Amen. truth of God, we know what we have. We have. That's right. We know what we have. That's right. The Bible says, For the vision is yet for an appointed is time. Is yet for an, an appointed, appointed time. time. But at the end, at the end, it shall speak. It will speak. And not lie. And it won't lie. That's right. It haven't lied either. That's right. Wait for it. Though it tarry. Though it tarry. Wait for it. Wait. Hallelujah. 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 Though it linger. Wait. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. All right, thank God. Even though the vision is slowly unfolding, there's Amen. many things I'm still waiting for. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm sad I don't believe it. You're too late. Oh, yeah. Your unbelief is too late. It's way too late. Oh, he's trying to convince. So, do I now persuade men or is it God? Amen. I'm not trying to persuade you. No, sir. Oh, no. I had a real, I had, God have multiplied visions. That's right. That's he right. didn't give me one vision. Oh, no. <laughs> Multiply. Gave me many. That's right. Let me see it. Throw it. Hallelujah. That's right. I looked at it Hallelujah. and behold Hallelujah. his manner. Hallelujah. Amen. I was told years ago this would never happen. That would never happen. And you got people. I remember when we got Lily Avenue. <laughs> my, 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 my. Amen. Let me back up. When we was in the basement, when first let's, let's... These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201 or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Little Rock, Arkansas. Notice, the scheduled event of Pastor Gino Jennings at the State House Convention Center Saturday, June 26th and Sunday, June 27th has been canceled. Little Rock, Arkansas. Notice, the scheduled event of Pastor Gino Jennings at the State House Convention Center Saturday, June 26th and Sunday, June 27th has been canceled. Please watch The Truth of God or visit our website, www.truthofgod.com for the rescheduled date.
please watch The Truth of God, www.truthofgod.com. Join Pastor Gino Jennings for services in St. Louis, Missouri at the Renaissance St. Louis Airport Hotel, 9801 Natural Bridge Road, St. Louis. Services are Saturday, July 10th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 11th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Again, join us for services in St. Louis, Missouri at the Renaissance St. Louis Airport Hotel, 9801 Natural Bridge Road, St. Louis. Services are Saturday, July 10th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 11th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Come early to get the best seat. For information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358. Join Pastor Gino Jennings as he preaches and teaches the Word of God in Kansas City, Missouri at the Hilton Kansas City Airport, 8801 Northwest 112th Street. Services are Saturday, July 17th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 18th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Again, join us for services in Kansas City, Missouri at the Hilton Kansas City Airport, 8801 Northwest 112th Street, Saturday, July 17th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, July 18th at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Come early to get the best seat and admission is always free. For event and hotel information, call Cindy Rawlings at 252-341-9358. Pastor Gino Jennings welcomes you to join us for our combined International Holy Convocation and General Assembly Church and Pastoral Anniversary at our International Headquarters Campus located at 5105 North 5th Street in Philadelphia. Services are Thursday and Friday, July 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m. Saturday, July 24th, prayer begins at 8 a.m. till noon and services at 4 p.m. Sunday, July 25th, services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. with the live webcast starting at 7.30 p.m. For event and hotel information, call Cindy Rawlings, 252-341-9358. The Truth of God is looking for video and photo content from all countries. If you have good photos or video footage of church events, including baptisms and dedications, we would like to feature it on the church's web channel, thetog.tv. Send us an email to production at scottlesky.com. We will then give you access to our private Dropbox. So contact us at production at scottlesky.com. That's production at scottlesky.com. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. You have been watching the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. If you'd like to contact us in the United States, call us toll free at one 231 201 In Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, or the rest of the Caribbean, call 876-963-2093. Again, if you have questions, comments, call us toll free at one 231 201 in the United States and 876-963-2093 in Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the rest of the Caribbean. You can also email us at firstchurchattruthofgod.com. Or visit us on the web at truthofgod.com. Once again, our telephone number in the United States is one 231 201 and 876-963-2093 in Jamaica, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and the rest of the Caribbean. Peace be unto all. The proceeding was a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. The opinions expressed were solely those of the sponsor.